this amazing film footage has remained lost in plain sight for many years, possibly because it was catalogued as 1930, when the seaplane is probably a supermarine swan dating from 1925. The stretch of water appears to be outside the supermarine slipway at Wollstone, Southampton. The film shows the seaplane moored on the River Itchen before taking off and travelling along Southampton water. In the early days of flight, the thinking was that a stretch of water was cheaper than building an airfield without the disadvantages of potholes or molehills. As the seaplane gathers speed to the R, we can see the eastern docks at Southampton. Early planes usually needed plenty of runway to build up power for takeoff. From the air, we can see the confluence of the River Test and Itchen behind us. In 1919, Supreme made several attempts to introduce a flying boat service along the south coast, including a Le Havre flight. Each was discontinued after a short while. No further commercial attempts were made until British Marine Air Navigation Company Limited was formed in a joint venture with Southern Railway, owners of Southampton Dock. Because we have only scant details, this film was presumably made to advertise a regular air service that was undertaken from Wollstone on the River Itchen during this period when it became Britain's first commercial flying boat base with customs and immigration facilities. The Swan Seaplane was the prototype of the highly successful military version of Supermarine Southampton, whilst the Supermarine Sea Eagle continued the commercial route to Guernsey and France alongside the only swan produced. There is a great view of ships on Southampton water and then the filmmaker pays respects to the first purpose-built military hospital which went on to serve proudly in another world war. It is sometimes erroneously claimed that the world's first scheduled passenger flying boat service began on the 14th of August 1923 but this record was claimed some years earlier in the United States. Obviously, according to the film, the navigator is using the coastline of the Isle of Wight as a handrail until he reaches the needles and takes a final bearing for Guernsey. The film shows the Cascatessa group of rocks northwest of Alderney that are a part of an underwater sandstone ridge, and another 20 miles until we hit the coast, and another five minutes we reach our destination. St. Peter's Port. Imperial Airways Limited was formed in March 1924 from Daimler Airway 5 aircraft, Hanley Page Transport 3 aircraft, Instone Airline 2 aircraft and British Marine Air Navigation Company 3 flying boats with the Supermarine Swan retiring in 1927.